What's up, Dan? What are you doing in the lab today? Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm making standards today to run on the DC. Standards? What's that? Yeah, I can show you what they are. So I bought this chemical from a chemical manufacturer. And in here is a pure substance. It comes with a certificate of analysis to tell you how pure it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small amount of this. I'm going to put it into my small volumetric flask here. So I'm going to take about 100 milligrams. I'm going to put it in 10 milliliters to make a 10 uh, milligram per milliliter standard. Uh, that's going to be my stock standard. That's going to be good for about a week or so. And then I'm going to take a small amount of this. I'm going to put it into another one. And that is going to be my uh, one milligram per milliliter. Uh, that's going to be my working standard. This is good for about a day. Then I'm going to dilute from here. So from each from here into each one of these. Uh, and I'm going to produce what's my called a standard curve. So I'm going to go from uh, point, uh, 0.2 all the way up to point 0.4. And then I have a quality control check, which I'm going to probably do around a point... Uh, I'm going to say 0.3, uh, just to make sure that my standards that I've created are reading properly. So I could do serial dilution, but I'm going to not do that because that's going to hide any mistakes that I make. So I'm going to pull from my working standard into each one of my uh, individual uh, solutions here. Then I'm going to put them onto the GC and run them and see what we get. So once I got my mass and I've got my standards and I've done my dilutions, I've done an actual calculation. So I thought I was going to do 0.1 all the way up to uh, 0.4, but I actually did 0 0.0508 all the way up to 0 0.4068. So those are my actual masses. So you can see here I've got my nice uh, four-point curve here. We've got a nice 0.9991 R squared value. So this is the actual calibration curve that I made uh, looking very good. My next step is to uh, prep my sample and run my sample onto this calibration curve to see how much of my uh, analyte of interest is in my uh, sample. Please like and subscribe and make sure to click the bell icon to receive more content from Lucidity.